It was one of those days. I needed a walk to clear my head from its constant thoughts. I was scared I would break down in tears again if I stayed in bed. I just found out he was engaged all along. I gave him the best three years of my life. I met him when I was 22. I thought he would be the one, my always and forever story. I thought wrong because it's his wedding today. Tomorrow is my birthday, my 25th birthday, and I just want to die. I get so upset at myself, realizing I saw all the signs. He saved her name as wifey, but told me she was his little sister Omi adored. How stupid was I to believe him? It's my thought, maybe fourth time past the streets and people are beginning to look at me weird. I don't blame them. I stare at my reflection from a parked car. Yeah, I look crazy. A dirty top I haven't gotten around to change in the days. My once clear skin starting to break out. Or my mismatched slippers. Not forgetting my braids I pulled out a few days ago. I love him so much, it's driving me crazy. Should I go to the wedding and do what I see in movies? Object and watch his life go up in flames like mine? Let me take you back to a week ago when everything was perfect. He came over as always for the weekend. I never understood why I couldn't sleep over at this place. It's been three years since we've been dating, but I've only ever been to his place twice. He always had a weird reason that made sense. I was in his arms just after amazing sex as usual. I remember our first time. We had just celebrated our one year anniversary and he was telling me how much it would mean to him if he was my first. I already imagined our future kids. We would have beautiful children that had his clear eyes and full brows. I always told him so. It was no brainer when he took off my clothes and I didn't object. This weekend though, I felt something was off. He wasn't as gentle with me. There was this urgency with him that I couldn't shake off. What's wrong? I asked him. At first, he said nothing and got dressed to watch a football game in the living room. I showered too and decided to cook. He was probably hungry, which was causing him to be cranky. I guess he forgot his phone was connected to my Bluetooth speaker. Because a call came in and immediately picked up. The voice on the speaker was of a lady. I can't wait to spend forever with you as from next weekend, she said. He disconnected from the speaker too late. I already had enough. I walked out to confront him with tears in my eyes. This is nothing, babe, he said with those lips I used to find irresistible. We will continue like we've always have. Nothing will change. He tried to get me in his arms. Nothing will change, I screamed. How long has it been with that? I asked. Seven years, he said. I lost it at this point. He didn't cheat on me. He cheated on her. I can't believe I was so blind. For three years, I lived in a lie. I gave him everything. My love, my trust, my body. And he played me like a fool. Now, as I wander the streets, I don't know what to do with myself. Should I go to the wedding and expose him? Ruin his perfect day like he ruined my life. But what would I achieve? It wouldn't bring back my lost years or mend my broken heart. I need to do something for myself, for my own healing. Outside the wedding venue, a grand church, I find myself watching as guests are arriving, all smiles and laughter. My heart is pounding. My hands are shaking. I can see him looking dapper in his tuxedo standing by the entrance. This is it, I whisper to myself. Time to decide. What are you doing here, he asks with eyes wide and with panic. I could ask you the same, I reply, steadying my voice despite my trembling hands. Please, let's talk about this later, he pleads, not now. Later, I laugh bitterly. There is no later. You lied to me and I deserve better. I turn and walk away, leaving him and my past behind. I don't need to ruin his wedding to get closure. I need to find my own path, my own happiness. Tomorrow is my 25th birthday. It's a new start, a new me. And I won't let anyone take that from me. I smile to myself as I walk away. This is just the beginning of my story. Thanks for listening to another series of Life as a Single Girl Living in Lagos. 
this is going to be a series of stories more or less like this about single girls what they go through in lagos thanks for listening to this particular story please like share with your friends subscribe turn on your post notification to always be notified when i post a new story and as always i'll see you in my next video bye besties